Hey everybody, welcome to Dumbbell Workouts for Rapid Fat Loss. This is Sean Hatzel, and you are about ready to learn how to lift your weight lean. So in this workout, we're gonna introduce you to your very first rep range lactic acid workout with superset finishers. Now, this first workout in this particular video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce you to chest, back, and calves. But in this short video, we just wanna introduce you to the chest portion of it, so make sure that you have your workout log sheet in front of you for workout number one, and you're paying attention to the chest section. And right now I have my two wonderful business partners and models uh, from GL12, my wonderful wife Karen, Karen say hi, hi. and Ryan Colby. Hello. Ryan's all things operations at GL12. So we're gonna be taking you through these workouts today, and right now in this video we're gonna go through the chest portion. Karen's gonna demonstrate a set of eight reps with chest press, then she's gonna rest 10 seconds, she's gonna to move to a set of 12 reps, rest 10 seconds, and then she's gonna to move to a set of 25 reps. So before we get her started, just make sure that you're referring to your training manual to understand the power of these rep ranges. Keep in mind, the entire theory of this is that we're going to work your muscle fibers through a different variety of rep ranges to increase your muscle quality, the look, and the curve and the tone of your muscle and by doing both lower repetition sets and higher repetition sets in the same workout what we do is we stimulate both slow slow twitch fibers and fast twitch fibers so your slow twitch fibers use heavier weights uh, or can lift heavier weights but it's important to develop those because it works more of your anaerobic metabolism where we start working into the higher rep range now what we're doing is we're working the muscles that generate more ATP or, or work more, burn more calories. So by doing this, the whole idea is to stimulate what we call lactic acid. This is the burn that you feel when you get in your muscle tissue. So what this is going to do is lactate, which is a precursor to growth hormones. So by training through a multiple variety of rep ranges, we're going to stimulate massive amounts of growth hormones. So not only are you going to be able to get better muscle quality and get more of that Hollywood look with your muscle tissue, you'll actually burn a lot more fat by just using dumbbells. So first things first, Karen's up right now. She's going to do her first set with 20 pound dumbbells and she's going to go ahead and knock out eight reps. She's going to make sure that her knuckles are nice and towards the ceiling and her elbows are directly underneath the weight. And notice she's bringing down her arms to about a 90 degree angle so that her arm is at a 90 degree angle. She's exhaling on the way up. You're exhaling right here. Mm -hmm. And inhaling on the way down. How many you got? And here is eight. Go ahead and set them down. So she's resting 10 seconds, which really is just enough time to pick up the weights and go again. Now she's going to move into a set of 12 reps. Again, keep your knuckles towards the ceiling, honey. Right? Elbows are underneath that weight. Exhaling up, inhaling down. Are you counting, hon? Mm -hmm. Good, because I'm not. So. Good. Inhale, exhale. Remember, the whole idea is you want to go down slower than you lift. So down to a count of four or five, up a little bit faster. Where are you at? Ten. Eleven. Ten. And twelve. So again, now it's another 10 second rest, which is just enough time to pick up the weight. Now she's going a lot lighter. So now she's going with 25 reps. Here's where it's going to start to burn. Count them out, honey. So while she's doing this, I wanted to share a couple tips with you. Because you did these first two sets at eight reps and then 12 reps, now this thing is going to start to burn really bad around the 12th to 15th rep. So if you need to stop and pause for four or five seconds to let the burn go away, that's fine, and then just keep going. The whole idea is to make sure that you can try to get this set of 25 reps with the same weight. If you happen to pick a weight that's too heavy, then you can go ahead and stop and pick a lighter weight. If you happen to pick a weight that is too light, make sure you slow down your tempo so you can increase the resistance. So just slow down the amount, the time that you lower the weight and the time that you lift it. Where are you at, hon? 20. Five more. Five, four, three, make sure you're breathing, two, and one. Now, Karen would go ahead and rest two minutes and she would set herself up for the next chest exercise on your day one log sheet. 
and that should show as a push-up. Now, because we're going to be filming all these workouts for you today, instead of having Karen go through the next round, we're going to go ahead and rest that two minutes. This will allow you enough time to set up for your next exercise, whether you're using push-ups or dumbbells. Remember, the whole premise of this is to use dumbbells to strengthen your core and to actually change the way your body looks. So now we're going to bring in Ryan. So this would have been a two-minute rest that you would wait. Ryan's going to go ahead and demonstrate the same exact sequence, but now he's going to be using a push-up. So he's going to go ahead and start out with a push-up with his legs up on the bench. Elbows are out. You're going to notice that we want a straight line between his shoulder, his waist, and his knee, and his toe. We want that to be as straight as possible so his butt up is, is not up in the air and it's not sinking down. So he's got a nice strong core. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. If you need to increase the intensity of these push-ups, Ryan simply slows down his negative portion of his movement. Now he's gonna rest 10 seconds and just get himself ready for his next push-up. So he did eight there. Now he's gonna go ahead and do 12 more. Again, remember, we want a nice straight line from the heel to the knee to the hip to the shoulder blade. It should all be one straight parallel line. Good. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. And now this next set, I'm sure his chest is starting to burn now. So this next set, again, is 10 seconds. So he's going to immediately get ready, take a couple breaths. Now he's going to go to his knees to decrease the resistance. Okay, Ryan. Yep. Put Move your hands up here. Okay, now go. We want a straight line here. So you gotta move forward with your arms more, more, more. Oop. More. Bring your shoulder. Line. <laughs> straight. Straight. You got your butt up in the air. There you go. Straight. So you put your feet like this at a 90 degree angle. This is the key. There you go. Now do it. Go. Notice that he had his, he had his butt up in the air. I'm trying to just straight. We need a straight line here. Is it straight? Yep, perfect. So now we have more of a straight line here, and he should be I normally don't modify these. <laughs> That's why he doesn't have to do them. We can tell. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. Push. Now he's burning. Good. Push. This is where he's stimulating the growth hormone now, because he's getting down to those final reps. So just make sure you have a straight line from your knee all the way to your shoulder when you modify these and you do them on your knees. Good, where are you at, bro? You know? Yep, five more. Four. Come on, push. Three. Good job, Ryan. Two. Great job. And one. Excellent. So you noticed that he was almost to failure. Once we got his form straightened out, <laughs> he was almost to failure on the last rep. That is the perfect set. That is a sign that he's stimulating all this lactate to release that growth hormone. So now it'd be a two minute rest and move into the next exercise on your chest workout, which is going to be a dumbbell fly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out some weights here and jump in and do this last set. So you notice that two minute rest, it gives me a chance to get all the weights necessary ready for all three sets, the set of 8, the set of 12, and the set of 25. So now I have all three sets of dumbbells in front of me just like Karen did on the first set. I'm going to go ahead and engage in a dumbbell fly. So again, you would rest in two minutes, got this set up, and now you go ahead and do your first set of eight reps. So lean back, and the whole idea of the, chest, the dumbbell fly is that you want to act like you're almost hugging a tree. So once you get your weights up in the air, you're going to turn your weights sideways, and totally different than they'd be in a dumbbell press, and you're going to do a dumbbell fly, where you come down, keep a nice bend in your arms, and exhale up, and almost position your arms like you're hugging a tree. I'm going to inhale down, I'm going to exhale up. Notice too, I'm going to lower the weight a lot slower, and get a nice deep stretch without stretching out my shoulder, and exhale up a lot faster. Four, three more, six, and seven. Nice and slow down. Exhale up. Notice I bring my knees up here. It's a great way if you're doing heavier weight to support yourself so you don't hurt your back. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately drop those. No rest. Grab the 35s. Use my knees to support myself. Come right back up and move right to the next set of 12.
Again, if you have any shoulder issues, you can modify these and just do presses. Okay, starting to burn a little now. Two more, that's 10. Nice and slow, 11. Nice and slow and explode up. Exhale, 12. Bring my knees up for support. Set it down. Now we're going for the last step. And this is gonna burn. This is where we bring the girls we're wounded into play, is this last set. Notice I'm gonna pick up the tempo a little bit on these. So, as you do your first set, your tempo will be a little slower because it's a lot heavier, but as you move into this higher rep set, you're gonna to wanna to speed up your tempo a little bit to get through the set. Okay, start to burn big time now. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a sec. We've got 10 more. It's so, okay if your form starts to get a little sloppy towards the end. We call that strategic cheating, just like food. It's okay to cheat, just don't overdo it or put yourself in the harm's way of any injuries. Three more. Three, ah, two, and one. And boom. There is an introduction to rep range lactic acid chest workout. In the next video, we're going to introduce you to your back circuit. Thanks for watching.